The Chorby National Park, covering some 11,700 square kilometers, was established in 1968. Four geographical areas define the park, the Chorby Riverfront, the Inguazumbe Pans, and the Savuti and Lignati systems. The park is one of the country's top tourist destinations, and the main drawcard is its elephants, the highest concentration in Botswana. Unsurprisingly, photographic tourism is doing well, providing a range of employment opportunities across the different sectors. Boating trips along the Chorbi River offer visitors an excellent opportunity to view the varied wildlife and plethora of bird life at close quarters. Whilst tourists may perceive the reserve as the ultimate photographic safari destination, not everyone has the same point of view. I am the chairman of the Chobe Fresh and Dry Fish Association. Photographing and the fishing, they are two different things. We don't fish on the ground, in the bush. We get fish from the water, in the river. And the photographing, they are not photographing fish under the water. They are photographing animals in the bush. The concessioner who is holding that camp, they don't want us to go to the river. Now, they want to control even where they were not allocated. We are sharing this river with the Namibian. The Namibian people, they are allowed to catch fish here. After getting fish here, they come to us and sell the fish to us that they are getting from the same river. And we are not allowed to catch fish here. These are our resources. We are sharing the river with the Namibian. And we should all have the same access. Our government must look into this issue and find a way how he can help us. I'm on the banks of the Chobe River, along the boundary of the Chobe National Park and the town of Kasane. And the contrast in vegetation is absolutely amazing. It's so obvious. The riverine vegetation in the park has almost completely been decimated. And in the township where there is not that much elephant activity, the vegetation is still quite healthy. The border town of Kasani is in a state of transition from a laid-back tourist destination to a regional transportation hub. The ferry across the Chorbi River, which links Botswana to the rest of Africa, will be superseded by a multi-million dollar state-of-the-art bridge. Much needed development in the district will follow, but with this progress, human-wildlife conflict will inevitably intensify. The Chorbi River is the main water source for wildlife in the area, especially during the dry season. Attempts to accommodate the game animals' needs have been made through the establishment of corridors from the surrounding forest areas to the river. I'm in between Plateau. This is a residential area and the main town of Kasani. And there's a deep escarpment between the two here. So what the municipality did is that they put they put down a flight of stairs. The residents of our plateau that work and shopping, they go down to do it in Kasani and come back up here. As you can see now, some of these gentlemen are knocking off now. Unfortunately, last week, there was an incident of an elephant trampling one of the residents of plateau and trampling him to death. And what the municipality is now trying to do is clear a bit of bush along the pathway so that at least the people using the stairs can see the elephants and stay away from them. Um, but I've been talking to a few of the residents of plateau here and their feeling is that this whole area must just be cleared. You can see right here, right next to the flight of stairs, there's evidence of elephant activity in this area. 